The Twins were hopeful, but no one knew for sure what they were going to get from Michael Pineda this year. He hadn't pitched in a year and a half, and he's shown uncommon command of his pitches for a guy who hasn't pitched in a while. I think that's what impresses everybody so much is he's out there throwing strikes. He's getting ahead of hitters. He's been aggressive in the strike zone. He's challenging guys, and he's got a, a plus fastball. He, he lets it ride up upstairs, but he's got good movement. He must have good deception. Seems like the ball sneaks up on the hitters fairly quickly, but so far so good for Michael Pignetti. He's got to go out there today and continue what he's done in his first three starts. There is a beautiful new area at Target Field at gate 34. We welcome you to that area here at Target Field. I'm Marnie Gellner. This is on the main concourse level in right field, and we are just inside gate 34 to show you this fantastic area. The gates used to be about right here, but they were pushed way back, and that opened up 5,000 square feet. And you could just see the green space here. Of course, everyone who was playing cornhole just left, but you could pick up a group of friends and come and have a game here. You could let your kids run around on the grass, maybe burn off a little energy. Clay Buckholz is in his 13th big league season and like so many veteran pitchers he's had to make the transition from a power pitcher to a finesse pitcher and Pat judging by the outing he had for the first time with the Blue Jays it's been a very smooth transition yeah he doesn't throw as hard as he did when he first came up but he shows that you can still pitch and win at the big league level he mixes all of his pitches really well and he understands his strengths and his weaknesses and uses them against the batter he studies the numbers and breaks down each hitter uses those numbers to get them out. It is a lot of fun when you watch this guy pitch and execute the art of pitching. Here's Randall Gritchick. Gritchick smoked the base hit to left field last night. Came off the bat at 109 miles an hour. Hardest hit ball of the evening. Swing and a drive. Get up ball. Get up ball. Get up and God. Randall Gritchick. There's an extra base hit for you. A two out home run in the first and the Blue Jays have jumped out to an early lead and when Pineda makes a mistake and that was a mistake Randall climbed all over and there was a thing about his tweet uh, yesterday after the Tim Anderson home run about act like you've been there before well he's going to go old school on us right here just handshakes all the way around up and down the the row at, in the dugout no seeds on his head or anything like that just hey way to go handshakes all around. A lot of big bats in this lineup for Clay Buckles to work through. Got the 18 back out there for the Twins. This is the second start as a Blue Jay for Clay Buckles. The pitch. Swing and a miss. A changeup at 74 miles an hour rolling off the fingertips. That pitch was filthy. 2 0 to Eddie Rosario. A high fly to right field. This one's up and back and gone. Tie ball game. Number five for Rosario. Well, Eddie led the Twins in almost all offensive categories last year. And he's off to a real good start with home run number five. First and third one down, and here's Jonathan Scope to right field and down for a hit. Ostadio will round second on his way to third. The throw from McKinney. Not in time, and the Twins getting some clutch hits from the bottom of the order. Here is Buxton, runners on the corners. Grounder to the right side. Ostadia will come home, and of course, Buxton beats a relay. He'll get a run batted in. Run batted in, not a hit, but an RBI. Well, counts wins by two, top three. And the 3 2 pitch has popped up. He jammed him. Back of short, Polanco going out. Sunglasses on. He's got it. And that's the inning. So Pineda came back inside with a fastball, jamming Galvis. Pitchick been on base twice. He's now reached base in nine straight games. Here is Justin Smoke. Swing and a drive. Get up, ball. Get out of here and gone. Justin Smoke hammers one. He's had great numbers against his former teammate, Michael Pineda, and he just keeps roll, keeps on rolling. He's six for 12 with three homers against Pineda. Very understated celebration in the dugout. This is where you can really, with numbers that he's had with the bases loaded, really do some damage by thinking the middle of the field. Swing and a drive, and that's going to get down and go past Kepper all the way to the wall. Tellez is in to score. Here comes Drewy. McKinney's being waved home. Here's the throw to the plate. It is not in time. Eric Sogard, a three-run double to the wall in right. He'll clear the bases with one swing of the bat. Ostadio is coming way down the line at third base. 
I mean, there is nobody within 60 feet of them. Popped up. Galvis, the shortstop, calling for it, makes the catch, and Buckholtz gets out of the twin strand a pair. You know, his delivery is such that his fastball is almost like a power pitcher's changeup. His good arm speed, the ball just doesn't get there on his fastballs. Line to left, and Rosario with the catch, I believe, for out number two. Well, a good catch for out number two. He's not flexing his wrist or anything. That's where you can pick up your teammate right here if you're Thomas Pannone and save those runs from scoring. Came back and struck him out. Gonzalez strands two runners in scoring position. Pannone saves those two runs for Clay Buckles. On the ground, scope to Polanco. Snap throw, double play. It's not flu as fluid as what we normally see. That was an awkward one, but a nice turn by Polanco. He had to run to the second base bag, pull a 180 to catch the throw, and then get the runner at first. Eight out of nine pitches have been the strikes. And that ball is hammered deep to left field, and Teoscar has gone deep once again. Oh, what a nice swing. Murphy left that breaking ball up there, and Teoscar hits his second home run of the series, second of the season. Deep fly ball to right field. Rosario has another one. His second home run of the day, his sixth of the year, and it comes leading off the eighth inning against a lefty. And Ken Giles has come out of the bullpen looking for the save. A big swing and a miss. First out of the bottom of the ninth. Max Kepler is 0 for 3. He walked in the second. There's a good breaking ball. And Kepler strikes out. That's a slider. 1 2 pitch. Hernandez, the left fielder, waits for it, battling the sun, makes the catch, and that's the ball game. How about a series win for the Blue Jays?